Hi everyone. So I wanted to do another video on uh, working with the back four and just how to keep possession and all that that I did last time. Also, my last video, I said it was like four v four plus three. It's not. Uh, there are no neutral players. Um, so let's get into it. This is what I I kind of did this this week because I didn't have enough numbers to do what I didn't what I did uh, what I showed in my last video. So let's get into it. Uh, I'll just get into the game right away so essentially it's four against two and you have a goalkeeper so the reason i'm doing this is uh there's a couple of reasons one i obviously want to work on keeping possession teaching my players how to keep possession in the opponent's half which is where we're playing we're playing in the opponent's half on top of that i wanted to get more shots uh my players need a lot of shooting practice we need to understand what we should be doing in the final third now, this is uh, depending on your numbers, depending on your formation, um, this can be tweaked. So for example, here, we can also add a center defensive midfield along with uh, another defender if you wanted to do that. So uh, just defender there. Uh, so it's really up to you to do what you wanted. This weekend, I did uh, just the 4v2. The way it's going to start is all the balls are going to be in the net. And when the goalkeeper has the ball, this is your first moment where you can talk tactics and teach your players tactics. So when the goalkeeper has the ball, we want to be small. That means that our center defenders need to be in the center space and see center space, half H, half space, W wide space. So that's where you can see I split that into two for uh, all the players. So depending on what you're asking from the goalkeeper, if you're asking the goalkeeper to roll the ball wide, you can have your uh, fullbacks at this point. They would be in the wide space. If you want your uh, goalkeeper to uh, pass it long, then they would be in the half space, right? Because it's the other team's ball. So when it's the other team's ball, we're small, just like that. Now, uh, where's the ball? Right here. So now the game starts. Okay, 4v2, these guys uh, can do whatever they want, uh, pressing and all that. When the ball is here, we want the weak side, which is the side without the ball, that defender, the center weak side defender, to drop into what I call the safety zone. The safety zone is our half, okay? So this right here is what we use to create space. Let me see here if I can do that. We can that we create space from the closest defender to us. Okay. So we want to create that space. And also, what this does is it gives a passing lane. Let me just erase this. There we go. Oh, that's player, oh, whatever. So it gives a passing lane into the wide space. It also creates actually one of the most important parts, which is if your player is here, it is a lot tougher for them to get into the right, uh, what do you call it? Into the right uh, body shape. So the further back they are, the more their body shape is going to be open because they're facing Their body is now facing this way as a whole and this way as a whole. So they can see that whole space. Whereas the closer they get, the less that space becomes open, right? The less their body shape becomes open. So we want them further back for those two specific reasons. Okay, and we call this safety. So in the games, you'll hear me shouting safety, safety over and over again. Now, let's say uh, the ball is passed here. And as soon as this ball is in motion, we know that the ball is going into the wide space. So it is the job of the winger or the fullback, depending on what position you're in, to lose their defender by going forward and out wide, hugging the line. And now what we should be seeing is everyone should be shifting one half space. So we were on the center space. This player makes the pass because we want it to move the ball quick. This player now shifts into the half space. 
This player from one center moves to the other center. This player from the half space moves into, uh, sorry, they were in the wide space there because uh, when we have the ball, we're obviously big. So let's, let me just redo that. That's what we want when we have the ball. Now, when the ball is on one side, everyone shifts. There. And there into the half space. And then we can continue to right, lose that defender and receive that ball in. Now, what we've done is created space. This player can now dribble. And now we're looking for passing lanes. So again, the ball has shifted to one side. So let's go back to our original positioning, which is everyone in the center space. Let's say these guys come back. And again, you can have as many defenders as you want. From here, now what you, since we've shifted over, now the strong side is our left side, shift to the half space, shift to the center space, but still safety. And now this is the most important part. We shift to the center space, just like that. And now we can start to create passing lanes in for the cross, in for the back. And if you add, uh, don't like that. And if you add a center mid, that can be the forward, which is also finding the passing lane. And it's up to you to decide what you want their run to be. Okay. We, as a team, want to create uh, the, we want our player to take the ball down into the half space and then look into the middle or look back for what I call the fire rocket. So this game was really, really great. So many shots, so many times that now the players have to start to figure out what to do in the final third. And if they don't like it, and the way that I would do that is I would just increase number of defenders so that maybe someone would be pressing. And if there is now too many players, then now we can start to reset a lot more and really work that angle of one side to the other, one side to the other. So hopefully you like that. Um, this is a lot better than what I did last week. I'm still going to do both. Um, but this just allows our players to shoot a lot more. So hopefully you liked it. Uh, and thanks for the follow.